Welcome. I keep on erasing this. I don't know why. So what I want to do in this example is show you how to convert from degrees to radians. And to do that, what we're going to do is multiply by a conversion ratio, which is pi to 180 degrees. And you should understand that pi, uh, pi in radians is the exact same measurement as 180 degrees. So therefore, this fraction is really equivalent. You're not changing the problem when you multiply by pi over 180. It's just the exact same value in two different units. So I'll multiply 300 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. And when multiplying, again, this is a whole number, but we can rewrite it as a fraction. So we're just going to multiply across. However, I want to reduce the 300 over 180. So I'm going to write them over each other. So 300 degrees over 180 degrees times pi. And essentially, really, pi is really pi you know, over 1. But I just, a lot of times, we just like to write in there. So, that, so now let's go ahead and simplify these. Well, the degrees, the unit degrees is now going to divide out. So there we're left with pi, which is just going to tell us that our answer is going to be in radians. And now I need to reduce 300 divided by 180. So I can go and think about you know, what are going to be some numbers that, or what is the largest number that divides into both 300 and 180. And the largest number I can think of is 60, because I know 60 goes to 180 three times, and 60 would go into 300 five times. So therefore, I can reduce that to 5 times pi over 3. And that's going to be our final answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you convert from degrees to radians. Thanks. Hello.